The crypto schemes have finally found YouTube's biggest loser. Look, a couple months ago, there was this documentary that was put out about Boogie2988, where he talked about how he was at the heights of YouTube and how he got to the lows of YouTube. And honestly, I watched the entire thing. Trust me, this isn't a guy to necessarily feel bad about. Not only did he have bad spending habits, he's a degenerate, he's literally like a sex addict, and now he's dating some like now 22-year-old girl who was like, I don't know, had to be like 19 when they first met. It's, he's a really weird dude and somebody that I just honestly don't have too much sympathy for. He was like a narcissist throughout the whole documentary anyway. I don't know where my money is. I don't know what it's doing. The only thing I've ever done with it is I threw it into crypto and then lost a shitload of it. $2,758 in my bank account right now. And let's see if mortgage has come out yet. So tomorrow when they take mortgage out, I'll have about $700 to live off of until the 20th when I get paid again. And I'll probably sell some cards along the way and use that money to make ends meet as well. I have a credit card with them that I owe $600 on. And on top of that, I still owe $163,000 on my house. Once you pull the equity out of the house, get rid of the house debt, sell off all my collectibles and pay off all my debts, I think that puts me at zero dollars. Now, because of those bad financial decisions that he made, Boogie found himself to be in like tons and tons of debt. He was an OG YouTuber, but he still got different brand deals, different ad deals and stuff like that. He had different investments, but he blew all that cash. So when he got the opportunity to make the documentary, he definitely took it. It's a way to get his name back out there. Tell your story, get a lot of people crying, and then ultimately do what the internet does. Sell these people a scam. Now it's 2024, he couldn't do any regular scam. He had to do one related in crypto, and a lot of people don't know anything about crypto, but they feel the need to invest in it, and Optimus exposed him for scamming these people out of this crypto coin. Hey, what are you doing? Nothing. Good. See, that's somebody that gets the fatty lifestyle. Do nothing and you'll be nothing. I see that a lot of you bought my coin because you want to be a broke, fat fuck like me. Well, guess what? I'm going to give you your first challenge. If you're holding my coin, your coin's value just went up. I had my team burn 50 million tokens. That way you have to work even harder to be a broke fat fuck like me. A lot of people wanted to know how much coin I'm holding. 2% of the coin belongs to me. And people ask me, why didn't you sell it at the top? I'm riding it to zero, baby! Just like I did when I invested in storage, just like I did when I invested in uni. Now, Boogie isn't the first one to get in what's called a scam coin. And a scam coin is a fake cryptocurrency made by a creator who's literally used to pump up the value or the fake value that's involved with the cryptocurrency, usually used with like another cryptocurrency as a form of exchange. And then they have people hold these things while they sweep the rug from underneath them and, and dump all the cash that's accumulated in the value of getting this fake currency. It's about creating fake hype. Now, he's definitely not the first one to do it and not even the first content creator to do it. Literally every time a content creator talks about having a crypto, it seems to be some sort of scam. Logan Paul was one of the biggest crypto scams that happened in recent memory. And trust me, that ended so badly, it's pretty disgusting. Back in 2021, Logan Paul started this thing called CryptoZoo and he took a lot of money from a lot of people. And trust me, the updates on it were pretty bad. So what could you tell us about how you're trying to rectify this? Ariel, you know I love you, but because of the legal position of this and uh, if people cared, they could look into it. Um, I unfortunately can't say anything on the situation. I bet, you, I bet you can't. I think we're very close to a final resolution. And that's what I mean when I say I'm rectifying it. But unfortunately, I can't give you any details right now. Now, in Logan Paul's whole scheme and scam, that literally had him on the hook for like millions of dollars. And again, he's not the only one who's done it. Kim K has had her own scam coin. Sexy Red has recently had her own scam coin. I wouldn't even be surprised if like Drake or President Biden has had their own scam coin. Literally, it's one of the easiest ways to get off on your audience or your fan base that you have in order to get some sort of money. It's literally nothing but a cash grab as a form of support. It's no different than like a GoFundMe or anything like that, to be honest. Now, very rarely do I ever say this on this channel, but I actually want to turn to Andrew Tate for some words about how I potentially feel about the cryptocurrency community. If you want to find out what cryptos I do actually endorse, you need to join the real world. Inside of the real world, I will tell you which cryptos I endorse. But if you see anything publicly, I'd be very skeptical. And I, I want to say one more thing. People think I have this beef with crypto. Let me talk to crypto guys for a second. Hello, crypto dorks. Hello. I know you're hiding behind your cartoon avatars, but let me explain something to you. I have no problem with easy money. I like hard to make money. I like easy to make money. A lot of you have quite astutely pointed out that I've made hundreds of millions of dollars with crypto. That is true. My problem with all you fucking users is that you get rich off crypto. And instead of thinking I need to invest in myself so I'm no longer a dork, I need to get strong and smart and interesting. You just keep the money and continue to trade shit coins, sitting in your mother's basement, jerk it off 
But when you see any of this public garbage, I want to make it clear now because there's so many AI deep fakes and stuff around. They're going to try and do it to us. I think what Andrew Tate said is true to some extent. If you see these things go public and they have some sort of endorsement by some celebrity that is not necessarily in that space, you can automatically assume that it is some sort of scam or scheme, especially when we're talking about the likes of Boogie, somebody who's had financial troubles and has shown to be like a genuinely bad person on the internet before. Why would I ever think that he has some sort of good bone in his body when it comes to making cryptocurrency? He was trying to make us feel sympathy for him like just last year and his financial woes and now all of a sudden he's so up enough that he can hop into the world of crypto and make his own coin? No. This he knows is a scheme. He knows that people are going to buy this and he knows he's going to pull the rug from underneath them. And maybe people would say that this is a more elaborate scheme than what some of the other content creators are doing. There's a streamer out there named Slicker who's been messaging dozens upon dozens of his audience members asking them for some sort of donation and apparently he scammed his way all the way up to $300,000 and he has no shame in his game. He's literally just walking around in public like nothing ever happened. That's how I do most things. It's like I will do something in character and I try and override it OOC by doing something in character that would make it make sense. To me, it's interesting that these content creators can't just be 100% transparent with these people and just simply ask them for funds. Although I don't think they would get the insane amount of money that they would normally get if they scammed out of it, it wouldn't backfire on them so badly like some of this stuff is doing. And then you have to face the consequences and repercussions. Now, I think that they probably think that their audience is gullible and they can just apologize, get the grift off, give their explanation or whatever the case may be. Because that's exactly exactly what Boogie did. When he got pressed by CoffeeZilla, he basically copped a bunch of pleas and said, Hey, uh, uh, I didn't know it was a pump and dump. I didn't, I didn't tell them to invest. Boogie, it looks like you launched a crypto token that is a scam, a pump and dump. What do you have to say for yourself? I don't think it's a pump and dump. It is a meme coin. It's literally it from is. a thing called pump.fun. What are you talking about? I didn't, I never knew who pump.fun was until today. Well, that's what you tweeted. It, but I, I learned about it today, so I also tweeted about it today. Uh, try to find a time I tweeted about it before today. You won't, because I just found out who this company is or these people I'm working with, other than they came, referred to me by Afro Man's manager. Right, but and you said before you posted the pump and dump, you said we're going to crush the internet, pump.fun. You didn't realize at that point you're doing a pump and dump? Not really, because Again, if you watch the video that I launched this with, the entire video, the entire bit, the entire joke is I lost all of my money in crypto. Here's my shit coin. If you want to be broke too, buy my shit coin. But see, I hate when content creators always cop that plea as well. Okay, sure, you didn't tell them 100% outright verbatim to do X thing, but you know you have some sort of influence or power on their decisions or the actions that they take. And the way that you kind of loosely phrase stuff is very misleading, especially when we're talking about young and impressionable people who automatically gravitate towards you and your entertaining personality. Now, how these people find Boogie entertaining, I do not know. He's a narcissist and I will never understand why. But ultimately, content creating to you is scamming people out of hard-earned money, then I don't think you should be a content creator. You're just making a bad name for everybody else in the space. And some people might potentially want to put out some sort of thing, maybe a shirt or some merch or whatever the case may be. But God forbid these people tarnish the name of content creators and have people second-guessing legitimate attempts to become other than content creators, have their other opportunities for people to get involved with. I don't know. It might be time for these people to get out of content creation because it's not for them. If you can't do it without scamming people, maybe you need to find a damn day job.